Greetings everyone and welcome to this final video in the series of linear mixed effects modeling on how to report your results. We ran a linear mixed effects models where we included the concentration of theophylin as the dependent variable or response variable and added the fixed effects of time of measurement and the dose of theophylin and included an interaction term between time and dose. We included each subject as a random effect. We can also specify the equation for our model as follows. The concentration of theophylin being the dependent variable, the time, dose and interaction terms being the independent variables or the fixed effects and the subject being the random effects grouping variable. There was a significant main effect of time with the p-value of less than 0.001, dose and interaction between time and dose. The average or estimated average serum theophylline concentrations were significantly different in patients who were given 5 to 6 mg per kilogram of theophylline and 4 to 5 mg per, the, uh, mg per kilogram of theophylline as compared to 3 to 4 mg per kg and this effect uh, these results are seen in contrast 2 and contrast 3 of the estimated marginal means option. Similarly, the slopes were uh, statistically significantly different uh, when compared between the same groups that is 5 to 6 and 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 and 3 to 4 as seen in contrast 2 and 3 for the estimated trends option. A more elaborate report may be written depending upon the subject and depending upon the analysis and the paper you are writing. But as a general guideline, this is more than sufficient. If needed, the fixed effect estimates with the beta coefficients may also be reported. That's it for this series. Thanks for watching.